Hello, welcome to Know Your English Grammar. Today we are looking at pronoun, one of the eight parts of speech in the English grammar. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. There are five forms of pronouns. Personal pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, and relative pronouns. Personal pronouns are used to refer to persons. Some examples are I, you, he, there, him and her. Let us look at this sentence. Laura went back home for Laura's books. Instead of repeating Laura's name, which makes the sentence repetitive, Laura's is replaced by the pronoun her. The sentence now reads, Laura went back home for her books. Demonstrative pronouns are used to point out persons, places, or things. The two demonstrative pronouns are this and that. Let's look at these sentences. This is John's ball. That is where the store is located. Interrogative pronouns are used when asking questions. These are who, whom, whose, which and what. Here are some sentences using these interrogative pronouns. Who is attending to the cat? Whose cat is this? For whom are you looking? Which of these cats is yours? What is the cat's name? Since we also have interrogative adverbs, why, when, where and how, a tip to remember the interrogative pronoun is that the answer to the question asked is always a noun. Indefinite pronouns do not refer to any particular person, place, or thing. Some examples of indefinite pronouns are anybody, somebody, no one, neither, both. Several. Anything. Nothing. Much. Few. Many. Some. Each. Each one. Each other. Relative pronouns link independent and subordinate clauses in a sentence. An independent clause can stand by itself in a sentence, however, a dependent or subordinate clause cannot stand by itself. Who, whom, which and that are the relative pronouns. They relate one part of a sentence to another part. Who and whom always refer to an individual person which refers to an animal or an inanimate object, but never to a person. That also refers to an animal and inanimate objects, however, that can also refer to persons when they are spoken of as a class or type. In another lesson, we will look more closely at who, whom, whose, which, and that. Let's look at these examples. This is the boy who will start the race. In this sentence, who is the relative pronoun? This is the boy is the independent clause of the sentence, and will start the race is the dependent clause of the sentence. Another example is, John is the player whom we all love. Whom is the? Relative pronoun. John is the player is the independent clause of the sentence, and we all love is the dependent clause. The pen which was stolen has been returned. In this sentence, which is the relative pronoun, 
The pen has been returned is the independent clause and was stolen is the dependent clause. He is not the type of player that the coaches need. The relative pronoun is this sentence is that. The independent clause is he is not the type of player while the dependent clause is the coaches need. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the comment section and please like and subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss our next lesson. Goodbye.